Okay, so today I'm going to be performing a little bit of a, a systems operation test on the purge control system on the E82 Turbo a Series 2 system with the hot wire airflow meter. Um, so, what I'm going to be doing is uh, checking when the purge solenoid turns on and off under what conditions, engine temperature, engine load road speed, all that sort of thing, see how actually complicated the system is. Um, just learn a bit about it. So if you haven't seen one before, this is a purge control solenoid uh, on the Series 2 EA82 Turbo in the uh, XT or Vortex or Alcyone cars uh, with the high-rise manifold. These are under the intake manifold, just behind the power steering pump. Very hard to get to. Um, anyway, so here's the system, there it is there, purge control valve, so it uses a um, ignition power source which is common to a lot of the other components and then a um, ECU controlled ground signal to um, operate the coil and close and open the valve. So what I'm going to do is just use my ECU adapter loom and I'm going to tap into the um, purge control signal line. I've already got a um, tap in the switch ignition line from a previous um, bypass of the duty solenoid which is in one of my other videos. So it's pretty simple. Purge control solenoid is on pin 3, which is the large connector. So we just need to tap into that. Um, on, the, on the large black plug on this side of it is uh, 1, 2, 3. So on my adapter loom, we've got a green. with a blue trace and uh, that's what it says there so we've got the right lead so we're just going to tap into that one and um, put a bullet connector on that just so we can plug in and out of it when we want to so I'm going to do that now Okay, so there it is, pretty simple little tap. Um, there it is, pin 3, tapped into it, tucked it around to the bottom so that we can actually get to it. Uh, just put a bullet connector on it, female bullet, so I plug into it. And um, yeah, there it is, so let's try it out and see what uh, kind of results we get. So I've run a lead from the computer back into the cabin of the car. This lead I've got connected to the switched ignition 
supply for the purge control solenoid. And this lead is connected to the computer output for the purge control solenoid. So what I've done is I've just got a I've used a LED and a 470 ohm resistor and I made up a little low voltage draw 12 volt test lamp and hopefully that's going to show us when this switches to ground so what I'm going to do is just mount it in the car right so I'm going to just tuck it into here and we're going to go for a drive today and we're going to keep an eye on it and uh, see how it behaves right again Right, so this is going to be a cold start. Now, as soon as I turn the ignition on, the light glows. Cold start, it's on already. All right. So we're going to go for a drive now and uh, see what conditions, if any, change the illumination of the light. So we're just driving along now at 40 kilometers an hour during warm-up. The light's still on. Just pulling up to an intersection now. Still during warm-up. Now we're coming to a stop. Light's still on. Now I'm accelerating away from that intersection. Light's still on. Doing 80 kilometers an hour now, almost up to normal operating temperature. Light's still on. Now we're just coming up to another intersection. Um, we're at normal operating temperature now. Now I'm stopped. Light's still on. Slowly accelerating away. Light's still on. Now we're just cruising along at 80 k's. Normal operating temperature, light's still on. Now we're cruising along at 100, light's still on. Now we're at 100 k's, I'm going to give it full acceleration, light's still on. Now we're at 100 k's. Full deceleration. Light's still on. Now we're cruising along at 60. Light's still on. Now we're driving along at 40 kilometers an hour. Light's still on. Now we're accelerating from 40 up to 110. Full acceleration, light's still on. Now we're fanning along at 110, light's still on. Now we're at 110, under deceleration. Light stays on. Now we're slowing down to an intersection. Light's still on. Accelerating away at 40 k's. Light's still on. Now we're slowing down and stopping. Light's still on. Accelerating away from a stop. Light's still on. Now we're pulling in and actually parking. Coming to a stop. Into park. And the light's still on. Turn the key off, the 
light goes out immediately. And as soon as I turn the ignition back on, we've got the light straight away again. So I'm going to start the engine now. So that's a normal operating temperature start, and the light stays on straight away. Interesting. So there we are. That's pretty cool. So now we have a definitive way of how these little purge valves in the whole system works. So as well as the tests that I did shown on camera, I also did additional tests with the test light connected like this. Like this. And even fully isolated like this. So I can eliminate any feedback through the solenoid or through the ECU or anything like that. And it just behaved the same. So it's very safe to say that if the key's on, the purge system's on. If the key's off, the purge system's off. It's as simple as that. Why they chose to have an ECU control, I'm not sure. There's a lot simpler ways to do it, but I guess Subaru just left it up to Unici Ejex and said we want it to work. So there we are. Until next time on Nev's Garage, please keep sharing, subscribing and liking. And I'll see you then. Thanks guys.